Halloween Stickford. I work for Manita Advanced Shims Technology as a CE engineer. The auto industry has definitely moved more towards accepting simulations, especially because development times get shorter and shorter. Um, this has been the story for many years now. The main shift in cars uh, in general is, until, is of course the internal combustion engine is phasing out slowly. Currently, we definitely see the change into the battery operated on electric vehicles. We see a major shift in uh, brakes and brake design as well. Because the normal foundation brake is used less, the amount of friction used gets thinner, so it will be a lighter brake, um, also more noise sensitive, also because you don't have a combustion engine anymore, so you don't have the background noise. Normally with uh, sound or masking, you if you have a loud noise, you don't hear the subtle noises behind it. So this, this way you need to put much more effort in getting the car quiet and um, the requirements will be stricter and stricter. Shims are a composite product which consists of uh, adhesive, steel, rubbers, um, in multiple layers in different configurations. Its sole purpose is solve noise. We gain knowledge on a day-by-day -day basis on how to implement them better, to um, do topology optimization and uh, the shape itself makes uh, a huge difference in tackling the noise. We can even design chimps before we actually make them, so we have actually saved a lot of cycles in our development phase by doing the simulation first and then say, okay, we only make this and this and this sample instead of making the hundreds of thousands of different versions. We can now screen many more. So I've been using Amicus now for more than 12 years. It's really helpful for us to to design, test and gives us the right material models to, to use. Um, we need that flexibility and that's what Abacus offers us. So we, uh, we've seen great benefits. We started with simulating the shim. Then we, we've seen that now that we have this tool and we offer it to our customers, the next logical step was to really offer them a virtual version of our dynamically our test setup. In this way we can compare it directly, which gives us a great, great advantage. During the day we can calculate 20, 30 different variations and go down on the test rig with the most interesting. So you get really this feedback forward, backward between testing and the virtual. For a couple of years it was one of the first champions on the board. We have now a nice community. You can do absolutely marvelous things. And this opportunity people should all grasp because it's a great opportunity to develop yourself and look at new techniques and new technologies. Mm -hmm.